Hi, my name is Madison and I read Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. This book was written in 1926 and the main character, Gulliver, is a doctor at home and he lives with his wife. He likes to go on adventures but decided that he wanted to settle down so he decided to go on one last one, which ended up being four voyages. That's what this book is about. His first voyage was when he visited the Lilliputs, and that's his most popular one. That's the one that the movie is based off of. So I'm going to read a passage from that. We therefore trusted ourselves to the mercy of the waves, and in about half an hour, the boat was overset by a sudden flurry from the north. What became of my companions in the boat, as well as of those who escaped on the rock or were left in the vessel, I cannot tell, but conclude they were all lost. For my own part, I swam as fortune directed me, and I was pushed forward by the wind and tide. I often let my legs drop and could feel no bottom, but when I was almost gone and able to struggle no longer, I found myself within my depth, and by this time the storm was much abated. The declivity was so small that I walked near a mile before I got to the shore, which I conjectured was about 8 o'clock in the evening. I then advanced forward near half a mile and could not discover any sign of houses or inhabitants. At least, it was, at least I was in such a weak condition that I did not observe them. I was extremely tired, and with that, in the heat of the weather, and about half a pint of brandy that I drank as before I left the ship, I found myself much inclined to sleep. I lay down on the grass, which was very short and soft, where I slept sounder than ever than I ever remember to have done in my life, and I, as I reckoned above nine hours, for when I awakened, it was just daylight. I attempted to rise, but was not able to stir, for as I happened to lie on my back, I found my arms and legs were strongly fastened on each side to the ground, and my hair, which was long and thick, tied down in the same manner. I likewise felt several slender ligatures across my body, from my armpits to my thighs. I could only look upwards. The sun began to grow hot, and the light offended my eyes. I heard confused noise about me, but in the posture I lay, could see nothing except the sky. In a little time, I felt something alive moving on my left leg, which advancing gently forward towards my breast, I came almost up to my chin. When bending, over my, when bending my eyes downwards as much as I could, I perceived it to be a human creature, not six inches high, with a bow and arrow in his hands and a quiver in his back. I suggest this book to anybody who enjoys a good adventure or satire in a book. I also suggest it to people who enjoy reading classical books such as Moby Dick or Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. Um, I myself enjoyed this book. I thought it was a good read and it was interesting, but it just it didn't have much literary depth. So if you're looking for something more simple and a good read, then I suggest to read Gulliver's Travels. Thank you for watching.